Hi, and welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Today's project is going to be on how to use time lapse within HD Movie Maker Pro. My first bit of advice is you need a lot of pictures. For example, the video I'm going to create today has about 425 images of a crop duster. So let's take the pictures that I took of the crop duster and make this project. We're going to click on time lapse and I'm going to say insert photo. Now this is about 420 some photos. They're not all in a perfect row. This was over a time frame where the crop duster comes back, fuels up, comes back. Okay, I'm going to click on the first picture and type control A on my keyboard to select all and then I'm going to say open. Okay, so now that you have all your photos in, they're all here. If they're, go through them, but be very careful because when you click, let's say you wanted to go through the pictures and look at them, you're actually cl clicking on these. And if you were to hit delete photos, those three would be gone. See the blue boxes? So make sure you unclick them. So as I'm coming through these, I know there's a few pictures in here I may want to delete. Here they are, this one, this one, and this one. Those are selected. Make sure nothing else is selected and you can go through your pictures and say is there any other one here that I really want to delete that doesn't work. Get rid of this one too. There's no there's no plane in this picture. I don't think there's a plane here either. Okay, so I'm going to delete those photos. So you may want to just go through and make sure you only have the blue boxes around the ones you want. Just a note, I've made that mistake. So delete those photos. Okay, so everything else is selected. It's very simple. Just say, save video. Now you can move those pictures around if you want. I don't need to. Full HD, MP4, hardware encoder, make my movie. And we're gonna just redo this one. We'll just say save and I'll save over the top the old one I've done. These 428 images are gonna make a video that's about 14 seconds long. So one bit of advice that I have is time lapse is for something where you take a lot of photos. If you have a camera that maybe you're going to set up for a sunset, you set it up to take a picture every 10 seconds or every minute if you're going to do something all day. You want to make sure that you have a lot of images. So if you want a 15 second video, you probably need approximately 500 images. So think about that when you're setting up for a time lapse and how it's going to work. If you have 10 images with this program, that is not going to work. Okay, so we're just going to click play. As you can see, this video is 13 seconds long. That's how you do a time lapse in HD Movie Maker Pro. Please make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie. I will be doing more videos on HD Movie Maker Pro. And if you enjoyed this video and have found value, please smash the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching the Peppy Techie YouTube channel. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Tacky channel.